Hello everybody, welcome back to Unice Collectives. Thanks for joining me again. I received quite a few questions lately about how to make shiny ganache on the cake surface. So today I would like to share with you one of my tips, which will be something you will be using all the time from now on. Let me tell you a few important points before I start doing something. I'd like to talk first about the ganache. A little bit more information about characteristics of the ganache and what we have to do, how we have to do it right. So, uh, when we cook the ganache, what we do, we just boil the cream and then pouring onto the chocolate pieces, small pieces, and the heat of the cream will melt the chocolate and the chocolate uh, and cream mixture uh, become a ganache. So I also add a little bit more butter inside just to gain a little bit more body, a bit more taste about it. So if you don't add butter, it will be still work. The recipe you can find at www.yenasway.com on the recipe section, free of charge. So I have other recipes also in there, like white ganache, etc. Please go and check it. When we finish the ganache, ganache is in liquid format. So after some time, either you keep it under room temperature or put it in the fridge, it becomes firm. So both condition, it's not good enough to take with the palette knife and put it on the cake. Unless you have a beautifully masked cake and then ganache is just cooked and after some time become just the room temperature and still liquid, you pour on the cold cake, it will be perfect ganache coating. So, but that is not sort of easy method because you must have a cake, right condition, right temperature, and you must have the ganache also just cook and then become a, a cold room temperature already and it's not going to be really convenient to make it all the time for every single case. So that's why we have to use the ganache in the midway. So not liquid and also not so firm. That we can grab the palette, grab the ganache and apply on the cake. Best condition always when you cook the ganache first and then if you leave it in room temperature, that's what I do. I cook, uh, for example, uh, overnight. So I cook a night before, leave it under room temperature on the table. Next morning, I have the perfect condition to use it. If, if I overshot the time that the ganache become too firm, so I cannot use it anymore, I put in the microwave and a portion that maybe a kilo or two, and then bring back to the, like a mixing like that. It becomes like a nice condition that can, I can use it. That has to be creamy. That has to be cold and firm. So that will be then good result. So uh, the method that I'm going to show you, and not only gives you the shine, also the shine will maintain. So when you first finish, it will be really nice and shiny because it's liquid. And after the ganache set, it will turn to like a silky kind of like a, uh, a shine, which will maintain rest of the time, rest of the life of the cake. As long as the cake stays on the, on the table, not eaten, you will have the shine. All you put in the fridge, you will have still the shine. Another good news is, uh, when you have the ganache like this, just mix, so I touch, it comes to my finger. But when I touch this part, you see that it's more melted and not untouched, like become uh, on itself like a firm and hardened. And when I touch over here, it's not come to my finger because it has got a little crust. So that's the good thing about it. I will show you on the uh, action. So what we have over here, I have a melted chocolate to make the decorations and I have some uh, tray and then the, uh, some paper, sort of like a silicone paper. You can use any kind of also, uh, uh, let's say like a cellophane sheet or something you can also use. And then scissor to cut the nozzle to make it the right tip if it's not good enough. And I have a knife to chop the decorations. I have board to put the cake on and I have my turntable of course, not so big. Medium sized palette knife, easy to handle. And I have conditioned ganache and most important, I have flame. So I will use gentle heat to achieve what I'm talking about. So let's stop talking about it now and then do some action. So I just want to check first the condition of the cake is nice and firm. It's cold, uh, but not too cold. If it's too cold, the ganache will quickly set. It's not good. So it just, just to be like a little bit about uh, a fridge temperature, but not so cold. So it could be like, a, a, let's say fridge is four degrees, room is at 20 degrees. If it is 10 degrees, it will be just perfect. And then it's not important. Just take it out from the fridge and wait for a while. The cake become like it's still cold, but not too cold. So the condition of uh, the ganache, I find is still too firm. 
I like to put this in the microwave for another few seconds to make it a little bit more softer. All right. Let's check. We should be careful not to make it too soft. So let's see. When you put the ganache in the microwave, it's actually in one part softer than the other. So you have to mix it nicely. But don't whip it, because when you whip the ganache, you actually incorporate air inside. It's not become like a creamy anymore. So, um, what also uh, I would like to tell you, the ganache, when it's conditioned after they become firm, like you take it out from the fridge or freezer and put it in the microwave, it will never be as good as the first time. Because uh, it will be just like a bit more like split looking or broken looking one, but the texture wise will be no problem. You will not even realize when you're eating, it will be taste the same, texture the same, but only visually different, only visually different. So uh, that is good. I like to start doing it now. So all what we have to do is give a first coat on the cake. You have to be a bit generous because we're gonna, we're gonna create a little bit more like um, a texture on the, on the surface. So this is already good. And after that, I take the ganache, put it on the side. Only this much. I grab this much and I do it around only about this much, all right? Not that going all over again, only in once, okay? So I like to be quite generous because I'm gonna pick some ganache off after that. Okay. I'm doing quite quick because I don't want the ganache to become too firm on the cold surface, all right? That's it. So, give a bit of like, sort of like order on the surface, all right? Also a little bit order here. I'm not trying to make it perfect, okay? Just understand that. So once this one done like this, what I like to do, I'm gonna pick up this finish first from the bottom, all right? Nice and clean, clean uh, palette knife. And then just look what I do. I just go like this. Because I apply enough ganache, I don't, I'm not touching the sponge. Just give it sort of like a rough palette uh, lines on it. All right. Once this one finish, I'm going to turn around. The top surface is still good. Just holding on it like this. I'm targeting from corner to the center only three, four times. One, two, three, four. And then clean the palette knife. One, two, three, four. Clean. One, two, three, four. Clean. And continue. That's it. You can take this one off if you want also. So that is actually uh, pretty much done. All right, clean this one up again a little bit. All right, now the, the problem is if I apply the heat right away now, the ganache is soft and it will be more softer with the heat and we will lose part of the, the shape I just created. So that's why I like to put this in the fridge just for maybe about uh, Maybe 10 minutes and I come back to show you how to do it the shine. So the cake is in the fridge and I like to use the remaining time uh, to prepare my decorations. So I have my tray here and then I put a piece of uh, paper on it, just a uh, grease proof paper or you can call it silicone paper, doesn't matter. I just do my cone, all right, and then use my melted chocolate, which is about 40 degrees, compound chocolate, put it in there. And we're going to pipe some needles. So it is not coming off because uh, it's closed. So I just cut very small. Okay, well, let's go. Just 
just pipe very thin lines like this. I'm not overlapping as much as I can. If you overlap, doesn't matter. Just try to make it separate. So, that is all I need. That goes in the fridge and the cake comes here. So my cake is just picked up from the fridge. I also pick up this one because I like to have my decorations ready when I put the flame and then soften the surface first, then I can stick things on it, all right? So uh, this one, very easy. Just turn the paper upside down, all right? And remove that paper like this, all right? It's on the side. Bring this one together. Okay. And just chop the end bits, a little bit, like this. All right, and then give this one sort of like this size. Put this on the side on the side here, and then give a little bit more chopping here. That's more than enough, all right. All right, now, just watch this. I have a frame. And then give first on top, look. Not too much. You can see it from the, the reflection of the light. You can only see that if everything is melted, that's already good enough. Not further than that, all right? See, it maintained the, the texture, the pattern, but the surface getting nice and shiny. That's okay. And then go on the side. Gentle heat. We're done. After that, what we do, we take a scraper here, then put this chocolate here. All right, then lift it this one up. The sides are quite nice and soft still. And touch with this carefully. Just a little bit. That's it. That's already more than enough. Put this on the side. Get this in here. Put it there. So the shine already cure and then it will stay like this. And after that, what we do, we take that, the remaining, the sticks. I have a knife, it's better here. Just pick it up and place it in the center and just let it go. Just like this. All right. And then just to organize a little bit, I want some of them like to stay high. Okay. And you can leave it like it is, or you can put a little bit of cocoa powder in the middle. Makes a little bit more difference. If you like, also you can use ice and sugar. Voila, my cake is beautifully presented, nice and shiny. It will stay like that. So 
and that is a very simple uh, decoration for a quickly uh, organized cake uh, for a quick solution. So this is not only a quick solution, it is also good for uh, presentation. Like uh, uh, if you have a counter, for example, like you have, you're working on a cake shop or, or you have a display counter to display cake like this, it will be very, very quickly done. It doesn't say only look at me, it also say eat me because of this shine, sort of rustic look on the sides and everything, that's fine. And also when we have birthday cakes for ladies, we will have always a lots of ideas more than the men's. When, this is also good for, for men's birthday cake. So it is quite serious, not so romantic, that will be fine. So I hope what you have seen today is useful for you for many other days. Thanks for watching Yanis Cake Tips and as my always wish, please like, share and subscribe to stay tuned with us. God bless you all, until my next tip, bye for now.